Okay, I'm back. I am Caleb. I am Caleb the Designer. Caleb the Designer .com. Check me out. Live Creative um, Part Two, Joomla 1.5. How to make an article and put it on my web page and make it live. And so um, didn't have enough time last time, but okay, let's pick it up from here. Um, we're in Article Manager, which is creating an article. And let me find that article. It's right here. Example title. And so now I'm going to show you how to get this on your page. So you hit close. I want to get out of this. Okay, next thing we have an article. It's made. It's done. It's how we want it to be. You go to your menus, and you want this to be on. I don't know. Let's let me see. Where do we want to put this? I don't want because the site this site is live, and people could be looking at this site right now. Why as I do this tutorial, I'm gonna put it down here, um, under, under here, because I don't want people to like to see it and be like, what is this? You know, can my boss be tripping? But um, so let's go to menus, and I believe that is the bottom menu one. Hopefully, I think. Is it? I'm really not sure, but whatever. We're gonna we're about to find out. Nope, it's not. Go back. <laughs> back. Back. Oh yeah. So go back if you want, click on the wrong thing. You hit menus again. Um, I think it's info menu. So we're gonna hit info menu. Actually, do not click on the words in menu um, unless you're trying to make a new menu, which you shouldn't be trying to make a menu. Um, but if you are, just you know, I'll show you how to do that later. But anyway, click on here, menu items, and you see, yeah, this is it. These are all the menu items that you have. You can see them down here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new menu, just so I can show you the process of creating a new menu. Um, you sh hopefully, you won't have to make a new menu if you're my client, because I would have already taken care of that. But um, I'm just going to show you anyway, so you can see the process. So you go to new menu, you go to articles, because that's what we're doing. We're using an article. All these are different types of pages you can create. You can have like I have a few plugins I'm using, so I might not know of these. Uh, you can even make a menu a external link so it you click on a menu and it takes you to somewhere else so we're going to use articles and we have article layout we have a lot of different article types um article layout is what we're using right now for this this is the home page not where i want to be this is what we're trying to make this is the yeah this is an article layout um, like I said, it displays one article. One article that you create, it only displays that one article. Um, category blog layout is pretty much what, um, let me show you what that is. That's this. That's when it shows multiple articles on one page. That's what a category blog layout is. So if you want to hope of more uh, different pictures or different articles showcased on your front page or even on a different page, that's what you would use this for. Then they have section blog layouts, which I don't have an example for because I don't use it that often. Um, but it's pretty much it's it's kind of like the blog layout except it shows everything in a section. Um, actually, I think it's a little different. It shows it. It's, it's a little different. You have to check it out. But like I said, if you're my client, you don't have to worry about that because I have already taken care of that. Um, front page blog layout is pretty much just, it's just like a blog. I mean, it's just pretty much a blog layout. Um, whatever you um, set to go to the front page will be on your front page blog layout. So all these on my website are set to front page. So they're different articles that I created, separate articles. And I set them to front page. So you see them on my front page. And that's my front page. It's a front page blog layout. Anyway, so let's get back to making this page. So what we want to use is article layout. So click on article layout. And then you go to title. And like I said, don't forget, we're, we're making a menu option. We're not making the article anymore. We're done making the article. The article's done. We're just trying to make the menu button so that you can go to that article. So hit title. Um, and uh, we name it title. Yeah. Um, actually name it something else okay so we will name this your link because I don't know what 
I'm gonna name it. Uh, over here, when you're doing the article layout, depending on which menu type you s you chose, your parameters and things like that will be different. When you're doing an article layout, which you just hit select, and you should find your article that you created earlier. And then, like I said, if you need to narrow it down, you can change you know these things. See now you see my example title. So you click on that, and so now that menu option is linked. That's that's pretty much what you need to do to link it. You just you link right there to your menu option. You hit parameter system and you don't have to add a page title, you can. Um that'll be on your parameters um for your article ops also you can change all these things. You can have the section name shown, um, the category name shown. Um, I usually don't use those. You can have the author's name every time you post. Um, I usually don't use that either. The created date, things like that. Just kind of look through these, find out what you want to use, what you don't want to use. You know, if you can change something, hit apply, go look at it. You know, if you don't like it, turn it off. That's what I do. It's all about experiment. Um, so, like I said, page title. This is the page title and this is your article title and for me I didn't turn off my article title just because I didn't um, you can if you don't like it um, or you can turn off your page title and it is it will only say once which usually is a better idea I just didn't do it this time so as you can see mine says it three times I'll probably end up changing it but um, this is your page title and to turn the page title off you hit no so you just type it in here blah blah, blah and you hit yes or no and this one I'll hit yes I guess just to give you an example that's pretty much it that's all you need to do um, you hit save and as soon as you hit save it's live you don't have to wait for those servers or anything it's live so now I go to the website I refresh I think it's refreshed I scroll to the bottom and you'll see your link is in the menu options now like I said I didn't want to put it on the top because I don't want anybody to see it right now um, actually now you can't see it on the top okay never mind but um, you click on it it'll take you to that article as you can see that article is there just like that is that easy and we have the link on video you know things like that that's pretty much it um if you have any questions let me know um, just make sure you publish your article um, and other things you can switch these and you can switch these things out to um, article manager and you can always go back and edit this article go back into it hit example title maybe we want to add another picture image image come on all right and I'll, I'll just add this one just just because and you see another image in there all you do, do is hit apply I usually hit apply because I don't like you know it taking me out of it and have to do it again so you come back here you refresh refreshing still refreshing still refreshing wait did it save? yeah it saved okay now it's refreshed okay so now you see you know this is your page title which we set this is your example title um, which is the article title and then we have our text here and we have our two pictures and it's that easy that's all you gotta do if you have any other questions on how to add or delete articles or um, edit articles that's all you gotta do I mean say I mean if you wanna go if you need to change out text or content or you know if your policies changed or whatever you're trying to do with your website anything like that changes all you gotta do and don't forget just go in you know and some, a lot of times you won't even need to go to the section of the category manager I just want to show you that so if you had to you can do it like I said I can go through here you know we have uh, pickup and delivery now you can click on that you can come in here we got a graphic you know with some text on the side it's like now it's placeholder text you actually can't see this on the site right now um, you have your metadata too also don't forget about that you can add a description your keywords and tags um, you can click to have show title or don't show title that this is where you would change to get rid of this title under your article manager editor 
and you have front page no front page um i just really hope i'm not missing anything like i said let me know if you have any questions about how to add content or get rid of content um, there's different types of content this is the basic the most basic of joomla um, i'm going to make another tutorial for joomla 1.6 pretty much explaining the same thing it's just everything is, is kind of changed a little bit <coughs> so i hope this helped um i just want to make something for my clients um i really hope you're enjoying the website um, subscribe check it out vlog in.